Ames Mon is a brand new fever tree tonic water called Aromatic. Stay tuned, I'll tell you more about it. So I dress similarly to what is in the glass here to my shirt. No, that was completely accidental. One time I made a mistake. I had a fever tree, but it was actually the club soda. I put that into my concoction, a mixing glass. And in that mixing glass, and upon tasting it, I was really, my mouth was expecting a very different characteristic, a bit of saline quality to it versus oh, a little sweeter characterization on this. And sugar does go a long way. It's very important to have some of that. So I didn't know about this product until I was, of all places, at Target. And I was running low on tonic water and I decided to see, well, what, what is this? I didn't think it was a tonic water at all because I do produce other products. So I didn't think this was a tonic water until I saw it up close. I'll put this a little closer so you can see that aromatic tonic water, 200 milliliters. Now it's a fantastic product line. When I was in Scotland this year, this is all you're gonna find. You're gonna find fever tree tonic water everywhere, but uh, you definitely need a, uh, a beautiful tonic water versus a mass produced ones. You've probably been in the same boat I've been in, which is maybe you're at an airport or you're at a bar that doesn't really have a great tonic water and you're tasting, you want a gin and tonic, that's what you really want. And said you really want more gin than tonic because the, the tonic water is way too sweet. So here is a, a fantastic product, a lovely color, right? It's uh, you know definitely that rosé colorization. Fine ingredients as well as all natural coloring. So on this, it contains carbonated spring water, sugar, citric acid, natural flavors, including natural quinine, and goes through bark extract, anthocyanines, which is a grape colorization extract, as well as safflower. So that's what accounts for this beautiful color. What I love about this characterization is, uh, you know, I wrote notes down and I tasted the tonic water on its own. And I did so because I wanted to really get the characterization of what this is and what you might expect. So I've tried this with different gins. I tried this with a Western style American gin, as well as a London Dry and an Old Tom. And um, you know, the tonic water does not lose its own. And I thought this doesn't need a lot of say bitters with this. In fact, you probably don't need any bitters because it's really flavorful and impactful. So on the scent characterization, I'm getting notes of orange pulp, citrus pulp, hint of strawberry, and uh, what I noticed is a Victorian freshness to it. It might be a gin and tonic you might have had in the Victorian era because it's just so nostalgic, I'd say. The flavor characterization is really, really impressive. What I like about it is the sense of sassafras, a bit of white pepper, clove notes, dried herbs, violets, a bit of citrus, and, and again, back to that strawberry characterization. Really fantastically nice. Um, just a level of sweetness that's perfect for the gin, and that's the beauty of a good tonic water. Is It's not gonna over-characterize and be uh, overly sweet, and it's not gonna be underly sweet as well. You can be in that situation where it's so uncharacteristic and unremarkable that uh, you need something to juice up or make that gin and tonic a little more interesting. This you don't need to because it's fully impactful, fully flavorful, 97 points out of 100 points. Thank you for watching. I'll put more information on the producer down below. Subscribe to this channel right up here. And right down here is uh, questions and comments. You can leave them down below. The like button is down below, so please give a like if you'd be so kind, and you'll find me on social medias that we can connect on. So what is your favorite tonic water? I'd like to know. What is your favorite gin? List that down below or on the social medias that I'm on, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. It is a new product. It is made in England, and so you're going to find that it's probably difficult to find right now, but eventually you're going to find it much more often, and this may become your favorite tonic water. So thank you for your support again. I really do appreciate it. Cheers.